YouTube, how are you now? Sean back here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Guys, today we are looking at a special knife. We've got a knife here from Portugal. This was sent to me by my good friend, Knife Detector. Thank you so much, Knife Detector, for sending this out to me. Congratulations again on hitting 1,000 subscribers. That is quite the achievement, buddy. Keep going. Your channel is awesome. We all really appreciate the hard work that you put into your channel. And again, thank you so much for sending me this really thoughtful gift. Let's take a look at this guy. Here we go. Here's the knife. It is made by Nicul, N-I-C-U-L, and it is made in Portugal. I wasn't able to find too much information on this knife maker. So this was a really thoughtful gift from our buddy Knife Detector. Um, knife Detector knows that I like my French knives, like this Forge de Laguiole knife. And you can see some similarities here. They do come from the same part of the world. You know, this is France, this is Portugal. Um, you can see that they kind of start out more broad here at the pivot area, and then they kind of taper as you get to the back of the knife. I find these knives fit quite well in my hand. Just, you know, you can see that kind of larger opening and smaller opening in your hand and just the way that these fit. So, you know, you have all the knife there that you need, but you don't have any extra bulk at the bottom end of that handle. And this Portuguese knife sports a similar design. As you can see, everything is tapered towards the back, but you've got a nice thick area here, nice and hefty to get a good grip. Check out this blade. They almost kind of mimic the handle shape with the blade up here. You can see that notch cut out there, and you've got this notch here. You've kind of got the, uh, the yin and yang look going with this blade and handle. And if I'm not mistaken, this knife blade was likely a little bit longer originally. You can see here that it does come up quite short from the end of the handle. So I'm thinking that this was more of a blade shape like you'd see on this French knife and you know they probably broke the tip off and reprofiled this. I wonder if Knife Detector did some work on this himself. It is very sharp and this tip, even though it is a new tip, it's really well done. Very pointy. See some scratches there. This was a, a well-used knife, but it's still in great condition in true knife detector fashion. He found this on eBay, second hand. And like knife detector would say, yes, there's some dings, there's some scratches, but don't we all personally have our own little dings? So why can't our pocket knives reflect that as well? And I agree, buddy. This is insanely tight. You cannot get a smidge of wiggle out of this. Here you've got a nice horn handle. Knife detector knows I like my horn covers on knives. I actually do have a French knife similar to this one with buffalo horn covers. Isn't that a good looking knife? I know exactly where this knife is gonna go. I'm gonna bring this knife to my cabin. Up at the cabin, we've got like a little side table that's basically like a barrel top. I guess the side table is a barrel. We use the top of the barrel as a tabletop. And I think this will look great there with a nice pen and a nice journal for writing in. So I think this will be an indoor cabin knife. And I will always have fond memories of my YouTube channel, my buddy Knife Detector. Please make sure you go to his channel if you're not familiar with it. It is an awesome channel. He sources all kinds of original knives like this and shows them off to us. So go subscribe to my buddy, Knife Detector. See if we've got a snap on this one. Oh, well, I can feel it coming. Yeah, very snappy. Really good action on this. On the pull scale, that's probably about a seven out of 10. So a nice, sturdy, stiff pull. Good, solid lockup.
a little bit of spacing here, but nothing to be concerned about. A little bit of a wonky backspring finish there. But check out these nice horn handles, guys. Looks great with these brass bolsters, doesn't it? Really cool. Looking forward to getting this up at the cabin and doing some light tasks with this guy. All right, guys, I won't keep you too long with this one. Just wanted to share this really cool gift from Knife Detector with you all. We'll see you soon in the next video. Take care, everybody.